What can you expect when you stay at a luxury hotel in India and do a staycation at Shangri-La, Bengaluru? Actually, in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of a foodcation, which is an upgrade of a staycation. Hi, my name is Ivana and I've been living in Bangalore, India now for almost three years. In this video, I'm going to show you how a foodcation next to completely pampering you and making all your stress melt away will also give you that amazing exploration travel experience by eating food from different cuisines. Now, because there was so much food, I have decided to split the series into two parts. This part will be all about the pampering part and you'll get a great overview of the property, a room tour, an insight in how amazing the spa is and obviously a little impression of the restaurants. Then in the second part, you will see how I get transported all across the globe by trying many different foods from many different cuisines. Without further ado, let's just get into it. Are you ready for this room tour? I don't think you're ready for this room tour because I'm not ready for this room tour, but we're gonna do it. When you come in, there's this beautiful working area. There is so much space. And actually you can even see the view from here, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Moving on into the massive living room because we're staying in the premier suite here. There is so much space. There is this massive TV and actually hold up, wait a minute. There is this incredible, incredible chocolate holiday decor here. This looks so beautiful and so detailed. We have a tiny Olaf here, a little reindeer. I actually don't even want to eat it, but we are going to eat it later. <laughs> it looks super cozy and super homey, despite the fact that it's huge. There's so much space here, so I can definitely imagine myself uh, watching Harry Potter here because I am counting down to Christmas with all the Harry Potter parts and we're gonna do that here as well. Then we're gonna move on to the view. I can't wait to show you this, but first there's a small fruit platter here in case you wanna be a little bit healthy during this holiday season. And then, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Ta-da! There is this beautiful view over Bangalore. And here you can actually see really well how green Bangalore is because you're looking upon the city and you see so many patches of green, which is absolutely amazing. It's one of the reasons why I love Bangalore. The city is so vibrant, but at the same time also very relaxing because there's so much greenery. Now, let's move on to the bedroom. And of course, I have to show you the bathroom. There is this section here in case you or your partner want some privacy. And then we're stepping into the closet or hallway area. Yes, that's right. We actually have a hallway here. At the end of it is a bathroom, but I'm going to show you that in a minute. First, ta-da! This is the bedroom with a nice TV here so you can completely relax. Something that I think we all have deserved after this incredibly challenging year that 2020 was. You deserve to relax. You deserve to forget about all the daily life stress and also the challenging 2020 stress. This is the perfect way to do that. And actually here, I have a beautiful view as well. This is how stress-free your stay is going to be. We have automatic curtains with, again, that gorgeous view of Bangalore. Can you imagine how relaxing and how soothing it is to wake up to this view? 
I can't wait. <laughs> That's gonna be so amazing. Ladies, I have something very special for you. And I never saw this coming because I've actually never seen this in a hotel before. Are you ready? Ta-da! It is a vanity table with a hidden mirror and all the compartments for your makeup. How amazing is this? Doing your makeup here with that incredible view. I mean, yes, we need that in our life. I'm going to do a bed test in a few minutes, but first we're gonna check out the closet area and the bathroom, so come, come, come. We have a giant mirror here for all those mirror selfies. And in the closet area, you can actually also find all the things that you may need for a relaxing stay. So there is actually even an umbrella because it has been raining a little bit lately. They have provided an umbrella so you don't have to worry about that. An ironing board and an iron in case you need some creases in your life and in your closet straightened out. Then we have a safe here and we have the bathrobes here. Oh, can't wait to change into one. But first, ta-da, the bathroom. The first thing that you notice when you get into the bathroom is the massive space. There is so much space here. Obviously, the wash basins, his and hers, we have. There are some really, really nice amenities. In the shower, there is a really nice rain shower. Obviously, the toilet is over here. And something that I, I personally desperately need in my life, a massive, beautiful, very relaxing looking bathtub. I can't wait to take a bath. It has been ages because I don't have a bath at home. So that's why staycations are so perfect. Now, I think it's time for me to get even more comfortable and do the bed test. Oh, much better, but I think my feet also need something more comfortable. Much, much more comfortable. Oh, these slippers are so incredibly comfy. It's almost made from that teddy bear fur. Oh, about the bed. Actually, I think it's medium soft because the, the duvet is incredibly soft. I can't even tell you. It's, oh, it's like a teddy bear is hugging you. But I think the mattress is a little bit more firm, yet it is soft, if you know what I mean. <laughs> My friends, I am so, so happy to just get a little bit of mental freedom. <laughs> is that how you would call it? Because I haven't been in a hotel since February. I don't know about you guys, but this is exactly what I need right now to just breathe again and calm down and believe that we are definitely stepping into a better world in 2021. We all need it, I think, right? <laughs> Hello. Hi, Hi. Please come in. Yes, hey. thank you. Can I give you the Ah, uh, yes, sure. Oh, that looks so good. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe the time has come that we're actually doing this, a foodcation. Did you know that Shangri-La actually is a massive food destination here in Bangalore? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you guys like pasta? What is your favorite food? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm very curious. Mm. Months of uncertainty, a massage is the perfect way to let go of all stress. 
At the spa, the beds are heated and all precautions are taken to make this a safe as well as an extremely enjoyable experience. Wow, just wow. Stress? What is stress? I've never heard of the word before. I think Shangri-La Bangalore just massaged every single reference to that word <laughs> out of my body. Is my skin glowing? A little bit. I'm also very sleepy. I almost fell asleep. It was that good. <sighs> In the meantime, what is this? This is all chocolate. Look at this. How beautiful is this? A beautiful heel and and nail polish and a makeup palette. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is so beautiful. Look at this clutch. This is so cute. Hi. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Come in. <laughs> Please come in. <laughs> Thank you. I will hold it. Just a minute. Yes. Oh, that looks good. What is the sushi, ma'am? The sushi at Shangri-La Bengaluru is legendary, and I can't wait to share that experience with you in part two of this series. After an extremely relaxing and peaceful sleep, I was ready to explore more food on day two of my foodcation. Good morning from Saffron, guys. This is the beautiful rooftop restaurant here at Shangri-La Bangalore. And here you can get a one meter dosa experience. This is the only place in India where you can get it in a luxury five-star hotel. Normally they would make it only in the roadside shop. So especially for the people who have very sensitive stomachs or are just not very experienced in eating street food, this is an absolutely amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. I haven't even had a one meter dosa experience in all my time in India and I can't wait to try it. So without further ado, let's do this. The one meter dosa was for sure a unique experience and after that I decided to take a walk around the whole property because of course I needed to make room for more food. At restaurant Shang Palace they serve authentic Chinese food and luckily due to my walk I had worked up an appetite again to explore new dishes. It was such a pleasure being part of that modest but still extremely cozy tree lightning ceremony. Obviously the holidays this year are going to be something like we've never experienced before. But I have a fun idea for you. If you're looking for a really, really nice gift for somebody or maybe, you know, for a really nice gift for yourself, the foodcation that I'm doing here in Changla, Bangalore is actually available as a package on their website. So in case you want something very original these holidays, I think freedom and pampering are the things that 
all of us really really miss during 2020, this might be a great idea for you. <laughs> I am enjoying it to the max. Something else I really missed is a drink at a rooftop bar. I'm a bartender at uh, Hype. So here we have uh, two signature cocktails. One of which is uh, Harai, uh, which I'm holding it right now. Uh, so it contains a vodka based cocktail with a perfect balance of uh, cucumber, basil and shenindla which gives a perfect citrus notes. The second cocktail which I was talking about was Hizai, which uh, has a perfect balance of uh, coffee with, uh, infused with uh, bourbon whiskey and uh, it is stirred with uh, maple syrup and orange bitters which gives a perfect uh, taste. So you should definitely try these two cocktails at Hype. Guess, guess makes the Hype special. Every time when guest comes to try new cocktails, it makes me a great uh, experience because uh, guests loves the cocktails and they will repeat, uh, repeat the like, uh, they will come again just to just for us like for the cocktails wow can you guys imagine that we have made it to a rooftop bar in 2020 did you guys think that this was still gonna happen i didn't to be very honest but i am very very happy to be at hype today in many ways actually this is coming full circle because this was one of the places that i visited the last before this whole pandemic mess happened. I loved it so much. Obviously, I wanted to return to it because I love the ambiance here. I love rooftop bars in general, but here the staff is also really, really nice. So today we have finally made it and I want to cheers to that because even though we still all have to take precautions, I just hope that we keep making progress and a lot more good things are going to happen to all of us. So cheers to that, my friends. <laughs> After a very lovely evening at Hype, it was time to take it very slow on Sunday morning. Yes. How are you, ma'am? Good, how are you? I'm very good, ma'am. Good, good morning. <laughs> please, Can you just... Yeah, please come in. It's okay. Thank you. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. My foodcation here at Shangri-La Bengaluru is almost at an end, but obviously there will be a part two of this series where you will see all the food experiences that I've had here. For now, what I can say about the staycation part, I love that Shangri-La Bengaluru is such an open space property. Even when you come into the lobby, there is so much space. The incredibly high ceilings give you that very, very, how do you say that, travel feeling, just that exploration feeling where you feel that in every corner there is something new for you to discover. Also in terms of precautions and safety reasons, it just makes me feel extra safe that there is so much space. It's not just the lobby, it's also the rooms. They're very spacious. The restaurants are very spacious. There is so much room and space also to sit outside. I loved having a drink at Hype, the rooftop bar, because, oh, that's just, honestly, it was unimaginable <laughs> a couple of months ago. And right now it's possible. Also having the one meter masala dosa experience was one of a kind. Shangri-La Bengaluru is the only five-star hotel in India who offers that experience. So that's truly unique and the first time for me. A couple of honorable mentions. The bathrobes are phenomenal because you have this soft outside, the cotton outside, but then there is this towel fabric on the inside. Usually it's either this or that. And the bathrobes here have both, which I absolutely love. Then something else that I really, really loved are the scents of the shower gel and of the body lotion. I have stayed in many five-star luxury hotels and usually they will either have a famous brand, which obviously will be good, 
or they will have their own brand but usually the scents of that are quite generic the look and feel of the amenities here are already so beautiful it could be a brand on their own but then the scents of the shower gel and the body lotion is I would buy this. It's so good. It's a green tea, herby, citrusy, fresh scent. I'm actually smelling myself all throughout the day. It's so, so good. Obviously, you're going to get completely pampered, but also something very unique that you will get here. And something that I heard from multiple staff members is that you will also get a very international feeling so even though you're doing a staycation you really get that travel feeling and of course that is also because of the food which will be in the second part if you are already curious the foodcation is a package here at shangri-la bengaluru and i have linked all the information down in the description below so i hope you enjoyed this part already if you did make sure to put a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss the second part and then i will see you next time thank you so much for watching Bye.